That's the pen. Whenever I see my wife waking up, I see God, okay? I see God. I'm not going to lie to you. Whenever I see my wife waking up, I see God. It's like a miracle. The day the, the doctor told me that her leg had to be amputated, that was on December 28th, 2021. I couldn't believe what he was saying. Her leg was amputated the next day. Okay. So, for her to be alive, to be spending time with me, watching the, the opening ceremonies of the 2024 Paris Olympic Games, that's a miracle. I see God in her. I see God revealing himself to me, in my wife. She's still alive. She's still spending time with me. I'm spending time with her. We talk. She wouldn't talk for the for 24 months, okay? She would barely talk. She was in shock. I mean, your arm can be amputated, but whenever they amputate your leg, that's pretty serious, okay? So, there we go. Go for a walk. Apologetics. It's good follow you. My Judeo Christian deconstruction, okay? I said uh, I didn't understand the, the origin of God. That's what I mentioned. That's what I said. And I do not understand where does He come from? Who created him? What was the source, the power that created him? Was he created out of dust, out of plants, out of uh, asphalt? No. Was he created out of uh, the Big Bang? That's a possibility, okay? The Big Bang, if it is true that it did happen, he created a lot of possibilities, not only, not only the, the source, the beginning of uh, God, but many other options. It could have been God, it could have been a different kind of uh, deity, it could have been just emptiness, it could have been a continuous crescendo of explosions but it was God so we are just a repetition of what God created of the operation of God after the Big Bang God was created okay so we gotta deal with him through whom through Moses the Ten Commandments and then through Jesus love God and love your neighbors. Those are basically the, the two main commandments. The problem is that I do not understand this physical entity. I understand the spirit because I do have a soul. I do understand up until his spirit, his soul, I understand. But is physical entity I do not understand where did he reside where did he where does he live who does he live with does he have any friends because he, he shows up like he's a sort of a, a manager Ad advertising and marketing director. He's got, he's got a sales force. That's what I see when I read the Bible. God is in control. He, he claims that he is the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. That's what he claims he is, at least in Revelation. 
and what's in it for, for me? What is it that I'm going to get from his word? Lately, just bad news. Okay, forget about the bad news. Forget about that. Let's suppose that uh, everything is going to change. But what about me and my relationship with him? Does he have to bless me? No. Does he want to bless me? I don't know. Does he need to bless me? I don't know either. What, why would he bless me and wouldn't bless Mary? Christian, Luke, Harry, Monique. Why would he bless me? What do I have? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. There's nothing in me that he might consider. Valuable. Value. And there we go with the, the, the concept of value. What kind of value do I have? Nothing. What am I? Piece of nothing, nothingness. There's nothing in me that can get his attention. Okay? Now, the problem is that when he created me, he created me in his own image. So I am a reflection of him. Make no mistake, I do pray. I pray. I'm very grateful for every single day that I spend with my wife. I only work 25 hours a week, okay? I can't afford that. That's not, that's not an issue. Look at the beach. Do these people, do they understand what's going on? That there is a God up there? Is, is he thinking about all these people? Why would he? Why would he? He doesn't have to. He claims his love. But then he punished you. He let you go in, into trials and tribulations. And sometimes I, I've seen people, they don't get out of those ones. Where was God? And the problem with God is that the minute you get closer to Him, He, get, he gets worse. Totally worse. Because then you have to... You have somebody, some accountability. You have to report to him on a daily basis. Then he's taking, not, I was, I was going to say taking care of you. Then he's keeping an eye on you. And he know, he knows whenever you straight away, whenever you make a mistake. I'm always living in sin. Sin is what is going to take you away from God. I stopped drinking on, uh, drinking beer. I, I, I would only drink beer, okay? December the 31st, 2021, two days after my wife legs amputation. And I haven't drank ever since. Do I want to drink some beer? <laughs> yes, I do. Well, I know. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't because I'm, I'm living a very extremely healthy life and I wake up and I feel extremely healthy. Healthy. And I wouldn't change that for, for the world, okay? It's, uh, it has no, no... It's priceless, okay? Okay? 
very, very priceless. Do I have any dreams? And that's a problem. Now we've got a problem. Because lately, I don't have the dreams that I used to have. I used to have dreams. Well, not anymore. Now that I'm having this... Uh, uh, Come on, y'all. <laughs> now that I'm derailing from my, my, my relationship with the Lord, my dreams are derailing as well. I used to have big dreams, big time dreams, not anymore. Since, like, every time you, you, you keep your distance from the Lord, even your dreams, your strength, your zest for life goes away. Who takes it away? I wouldn't say Satan. Life. Life is always devouring you. And then the problem with value. I don't have a problem with that. I know who I am. He created me, okay? That I know. That I know. He created me. So I know that for a fact. Am I a mistake? Well, he, maybe he made a mistake when he created me. He should have created someone else. Someone who, who was not going to ask all these questions. With no answers. I mean, I, I have to be very grateful that people who have made a comments on my first video. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm appalled. I'm flabbergasted with uh, the comments. I mean, they seem to be scholars, apologetic people, people from Bible schools, master's degree, PhD. Those are high level, high level, big time high level comments. I can say that I used to be a college professor. That's the reason I, I understand what you're writing. So what's going to be next? This is Collins Avenue. This is and that's no. This is Ocean Drive. This is Ocean Drive. Collins is going to be the next one. Yeah, next one. And then you you, you believe that you deserve what you have. I just saw these people having lunch at this hotel. This is not a high-end hotel, but it's, it's a nice hotel. Very well located. And when you're having lunch at a nice hotel, believe me, you believe that you deserve, that you deserve the lunch that you're having. You, you deserve that people serving you. And, and you're, you're a Christian man. Well, let me tell you something. Jesus didn't have a place to lay his hat. But you want to get the next Tesla, the 2025. Good for you. Should I be grateful that I can film this video? Yes, I am grateful. So does he exist? Yeah, he exists. Is he God? Is he taking care of me? Does he want to take care of me? Does he love me? When I see my wife, he does love me. Definitely. Definitely. When I see my, my failures, my, 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 my life, my sinful life, he still, he still loves me. Am I going to be able to reconcile with him? I don't know about that. I'm leaning towards the, that I will be. But I'm not sure about that. Beautiful day on South Beach. Let's go back home. There we go. There we go. There you go.
what's going to be next. Yeah, we got some more. Very Going up? Yes. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Why are you barking? Come. Be nice. Uh, which floor? Uh, third floor. Th third three. Third? Yes, three. Oh, oh I, I can see. do that. Yes, thanks so much. Oh, no. Thank I'm you. wearing my sunglasses, man. Sorry about that. No, 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 you're fine, thank you. There we go. Yes. Have a good one, man. You too, thanks so much again. Have a nice day. You too, you too. Come, come with you. There we go. Is he thinking about God? Most likely he's not. He might be just thinking about his puppies, his life on the South Beach, having a great, a great time, enjoying the beach. Vanity, pride. That's gonna be what is gonna keep you away from me. Oh. This is not my floor. Gotta go to the sixth one. There we go. Vanity. Yep, it's all about vanity. It's all about pride. That's all we have. And then we want to have a relationship with the Lord. No. You see? That's the problem. We want everything. But we don't want to give anything away from us in return to Him. How? By preaching the Word. That's the port of Miami. That's the continuum. That one is the continuum. $27 million. The penthouses. That's the Portofino. There we go. Well. Time to say goodbye. God bless you all, okay?